Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan in this very powerful and exciting video of quartic equation. See, non-conventional method we are going to see today that is product of two quadratics. So, I am writing our equation as x power 4 minus 7x minus 12 equal to 0. So, because of its degree is 4, I will write x power 4 minus 7x minus 12 as x square plus ax plus b times x square plus cx plus d. Now I will take the product of two quadratics. So let me write x power 4 plus a plus c x cube plus ac plus b plus d x square plus ad plus bc x and constant term is coming out dd. So now we will compare either side of the equation. So coefficient of x square that is 1. Coefficient of next term is a plus c. I will write equation number 1 a plus c left hand side there is no coefficient of x cube so 0. Coefficient of x square a c plus b plus d that is equal to again 0 because no coefficient of x square in LHS. Now come to this part is done now come to a d plus b c I will write a d plus b c equal to negative 7 because left hand side you are having coefficient of x minus 7, right hand side it is ad plus bc. Similarly, I will write equation 4 which is coming from constant term that is bd equal to minus 12. Now, from equation number 1, I will write a equal to c or c equal to minus a or we can write a equal to minus c. So, equation 2 will become b plus d equal to a square. ac will be minus a square. So, it will take right hand side then b plus d will come out a square. Similarly, third equation if I will put c equal to minus a then it will give us b minus d equal to 7 over a. Now, let me consider this equation 3. This is equation 4. I will add both to collect b. If I will add both, then b will come out a square over 2 plus 7 over 2a. And d will come out. After subtraction, you will get d. d will be minus 12 over a square by 2 plus 7 over 2a. That term will be as it is a square right hand side. That is, and in the equation 4, 7 over a is your right hand side. Now, now what I will do, put these values b and d in equation number 3. That means we will use b plus d equal to a square. Let us put the value of b and d in equation 3. So, equation will convert into, let me write here, b plus d equal to a square. b was a square over 2 plus 7 over 2a plus d was negative 12 over a square over 2 plus 7 over 2a. That value will be a square. So, you can see x plus 1 over negative 12 over x form it is. So, it will form a raised to the power 4 and if you will sum up take the all the terms all together then this will come out a power 6 plus 48 a square equal to 49. I am writing minus 49 equal to 0. This is hexic equation. You can see a power 6 plus 48 a square negative 49 equal to 0. Now, if you will add all the terms, all the coefficients, then 1 plus 48 that is 49 minus 49 0. So, a equal to 1 is obvious solution which we can guess directly. But I, I am going to substitute 
a square equal to t. So once I will substitute a square equal to t, this hexic equation convert into cubic equation. So it will become t cube plus 48t minus 49 equal to 0. So t is equal to 1 is obvious solution. You can put the value. If I am putting t equal to 1, then 1 cube, 1 plus 48 minus 49 equal to 0. 49 minus 49 equal to 0. So that means it is solution or you can say t minus 1 is one factor. Okay, let me factorize it. Synthetic division I have used. So I will write 1, all the coefficients. T cube is there, 1. T square is not there, so 0. T is there, so 48. And constant is for negative 49. And T equal to 1 is our direct factor. Let me write first term as it is. Now 1 into 1, 1. 1. 1 into 1, 1. 49. 49 into 1, 49. 0. So what is left? T square plus T plus 49. So this is how we can factor, we can get the factors of cubic equation. This is t minus 1, t square plus t plus 49 equal to 0. Now if you will check discriminant for this delta means b square minus 4ac. So it will give us complex solution. T value will be complex. So let's see b square 1 minus 4ac. So 4 times 1 times c is 49. So that will be 1 minus 196. So that will be negative 195 which is negative. So complex solution will have. Okay. So from this point now t equal to 1 that means a square is equal to 1. So two solutions will have two solutions basically two values of a. a is equal to plus 1 and a is equal to minus 1. So sets are ready. I will consider a equal to 1 and then I will consider a equal to minus 1 case a equal to 1 that means c equal to c equal to minus a so c equal to negative 1 now b is equal to a square by 2 in this equation a square by 2 plus 7 over 2a will put a equal to 1 so if i will put a equal to 1 then that value will be 7 over 2 that means 8 over 2 4 so we will get b equal to 4 and BD is equal to minus 12. So D will come out negative 3. So one set is A1, B4, C minus 1, D minus 3. Similarly, second value, second set, that will give us C equal to minus A. So 1 and B, you will get minus 3. Similar way and D will come out 4. Now our equation will be x square minus 7x minus 12 will be factorized as x square plus ax plus b that was our presumption x square plus cx plus d now put both the sets so that equation will come out same i am putting first case suppose this one so equation will convert x square plus x plus b so plus 4 and x square minus x minus 3. So this is our required factorization. Now because of this equation was quartic, we will have 4 roots. 2 from first one and 2 from the second one. 2 roots from here and 2 roots from here. So let's find out quickly x is equal to minus b so minus 1 plus minus square root b square so 1 minus 16 
over 2. That means negative 1 plus minus i times root 15 over 2. So, two complex solutions. Now, second equation x will be minus b. So, 1 plus minus b square minus 4ac. So, 12 over 2. Here we are getting two real roots, real solutions. Square root 13 over 2. So, two complex roots from here and two real solutions are complex solutions and from here two real solutions. This is how we can find out our solution or root in quadratic equation using product of two quadratics. I hope you like this video. The basic concept is considering those brackets, those parentheses x square plus ax plus b and x square plus cx plus d in that format. Compare the coefficient both sides, you will get your answer using algebra. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe my channel, friends. Bye-bye.